Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 52, picking straight back off from the last episode and gonna go ahead and imbue the Archer's Ring, which is gonna be very handy for raids and, well, anything that I'm using range for, basically. Um, this episode, probably gonna be heading back to raids, doing some more Slayer, and um, yeah, hopefully getting some more rare drops. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. What is with these D med drops at the moment? Um, I got one in the last episode from Prime, and um, that's another one from a Steel Dragon, pretty random there. All right, we have got a hard clue. What can we get? Ah, for a second I thought that was um, Zami Bottoms, which would have been really useful. Definitely not had those before though, the red Dehyde Chaps. I'm assuming that I can't put them into my house unless I've got the body as well. So hopefully get that soon, because otherwise that's a bank space wasted, really. And we got another hard clue for some rune stuff. Not too bad. So I got the ancient tablet, which I was um, hoping to get pretty early on. So I'm pretty sure that will just attach straight onto. Is it you put use on there? Yeah, there we go, so that'll allow me to get to the raids bank, which is nice because otherwise I've had to um, use the minecarts, which is a little bit inconvenient. So yeah, that's pretty nice, and another item scene, that was such a scuff raid. Um, but there we go. Alright, got another hard clue, let's see what we can get. And nothing too good there. Coming in with a range level that is 96, so just the three left to go until 99, which will be awesome. Um, decided to come to Barris for a bit, I'm really low on Chaos Runes um, and there's a few items I'd still kind of like to get from here um, to be honest mostly the Darox Axe um, they're nerfing birdhouses soon, I don't know how hard the nerf is going to be so it may end up being that going back to Mole um, for Iron Men is going to be the meta for getting Ness I, to be honest I doubt it but um, it'd be kind of nice to have the Axe so that I've got the full Darox set just in case um, otherwise I'm missing, uh, what is it, Guthans, Chest and Spear for the full set of that which again would be nice to have but to be honest everything else um, I'm not too fussed about getting so I don't think I'll stay here too long, just might be nice to see if I can get a couple of items. Alright so I got an elite clue from raids that I had to drop because uh, it required the circle and I haven't got that just yet but I did trade it in for a master clue and managed to complete it so can we get anything good? Hey, I'll take the magic seed, that's pretty decent. Um, up to 10 master clues completed now, 400k reward, that's not too shabby. Ah, I knew I was close to that level but just missed 97 magic, so two left to go until uh, 99. Looking forward to hitting that for the cape to be honest, I think that'd be really useful um, for the spellbook switches. So fingers crossed that doesn't take too long to get. Alright, just got a hard clue, let's see what we can get. Okay, nothing good there. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. I've not had a dragon plate skirt from Wyverns before. Um, still not had any of the uh, granite legs either. Had a couple of um, dragon plate leg drops here, but um, yeah, first time seeing that here. And there we go, first, <laughs> first pair of granite legs. Speak of the devil. I don't believe it. I just got the prime pet on KC 304. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I actually don't know what the um what the drop rate is on on the DK's pets. I I haven't even had a warrior ring or a circle here yet. And I just got the prime pet. I cannot believe that. That is unbelievable. That is such a nice pet as well. I think like in terms of like classic old school bosses, the Dagnoth Kings are pretty iconic and Prime, I would say out of the three of them, probably looks the best. I feel like I should probably teleport away, but I kind of don't want to because I've only just started the trip. That, wow. I'm in, I'm in absolute shock. All right, well, uh, let's get the Prime pet insured, 500k, always well worth it. And I think that is my fifth pet now, yeah. Um, and that is actually the first one on this account that um, is one that I've not had on my main, if that makes sense, so a new pet in that respect. And um, 
a really really cool one i have to say um I've, I've always thought the dk's pets were some of the best ones in the game um i yeah it just looks awesome was not expecting that at all all right well uh, this is the hard clue that i had from that dk's task can the luck continue <laughs> no well i think after a pet you just gotta accept that the hard clues probably aren't going to be anywhere near as lucky as getting a prime pet after 300 kc that was a drop i was not expecting to get today tomorrow at any point um i have a feeling that's one in 32,000. i'm gonna have to check it might be one in 16,000 instead that is ridiculous um i already have an abyssal dagger from sire which obviously isn't anywhere near as rare um not sure how to feel about that it's been a strange day getting the prime pet and an abyssal dagger all in one but there we go yep i've just double checked that is a one in thirty-two thousand drops so basically the equivalent of getting the dragon chain body at dust devils um i don't think i've ever received anything quite that rare before that's interesting Oh, that is so lucky. I just decided to randomly come and uh, have a go at getting the scepter. Um, if you don't know, I'm up to 91 thieving. I did a lot of XP here and I didn't get anything. So I thought I would rush some chests and the uh, sarcophagi. And I've been here about, I would say 15 minutes. So that is really nice. I would like to get a second one at some point so that I can uh, upgrade the altar in my house for the um, spellbook switches. Um, but for the time being this does just fine because it does teleport you um, to the ancient pyramid anyway um, but that's really nice that's going to come in very handy I think it's uh, worth a decent chunk of money as well nearly six mil very very pleased with that all right got a hard clue what can we get uh, don't think any of that is particularly useful I have a feeling I've already got the armadillo plate body um, but we will just double check. Nope, that is a duplicate. Once I've got the kite shield, I'll be able to put the set in the house. So, I mean, I've already got duplicates of the plate body in the full helm, so it might be two sets before long. And got another two clues, a hard and an elite. We will start with the hard. Uh, nothing too special there. And the elite. Again, nothing too special. And we've got another hard clue. Zami page, not too bad for the bank value. Curious to see how many Zami pages I'm up to now, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, what's that? 11 pages, not too bad. And that is 96 attack. <clears throat> Losing my voice a bit there. Um, back at DK's again, I've been trying a slightly different setup because I want to see about extending my trips. Um, previously, I've only been able to get 120 kills in a trip. Um, and that's been limited really by the amount of antidotes and restores that I have in my inventory. So I've gone for a gear setup that gives me slightly more prayer bonus. And um, I'm bringing one sand few, one antidote instead of three sand fuse. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm actually not really going to be able to test it this trick. So I've only got um, 100 or I had 100 left on task. Um, before starting the trip so just testing it really and we'll see how it goes all right we've got a hard clue gonna open it here in the wilderness what can we get nothing 96 cooking coming in so three left to go until 99 I figured out um, with all the fish that I'll be getting from 91 fishing for the Mauritania elite diary I'll definitely have enough for 99 I'm not in any particular rush I do have a ton of grapes in the bank from Zora, which would um, get me way over the threshold, but figured the the fish will be more useful as food, so I'm just going to wait for that. Um, it'll be a, a nice 99 to have, I suppose. The um, the cape might have a few uses, but it's it's nothing too special. Just one that'd be nice to get out of the way. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Unfortunately, I hope you have enjoyed watching. It's been a pretty crazy episode in terms of luck. I have to say, the prime pet obviously being the standout. Um, the Abyssal Dagger as well, that one in 32k drop, and um, yeah, I guess getting the Ferris Scepter as well is something I've been after for a while, so nice to finally get that. Next episode, more of the same, um, a little bit of skilling alongside some Slayer, um, and just see what we can get done. Um, thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed, 
please feel free to uh, drop a like or uh, subscribe um, and hopefully see everyone back in time for the next episode in a week or so. Take care.